As we continue to highlight Latino stories during Hispanic Heritage Month, we explore the story of the king of traditional Mexican music, Vicente Fernandez, a legend who sold more than 50 million copies worldwide with a repertoire consisting of Mexican classics like El Rey and Volver, Volver. Y volver, volver, volver a tus brazos otra vez. Listen to that music there. Played at weddings, quinceañeras, even funerals, Vicente's music is a staple among many Latinos. Paying homage to this international icon's legacy is Jaime Camille, a Mexican actor best known in part for his hit role as Rogelio de la Vega in Jane the Virgin. Jaime, thank you so much for coming on the show. Lindsay, thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Uh, before we get started, let's take a quick peek at the preview of the series, appropriately named El Rey, which of course means the king. Oye, papá, mm. yo ya no quiero ir a la escuela. ¿Y qué va a hacer? Quiero cantar. Lo siento mucho, amigo, pero me pidieron que te suspendiera el contrato. Y aquí de la disquera están a punto de sacarme por la puerta de atrás. O les demuestro lo que valgo, o me regreso a Guadalajara a ordeñar vacas. Jaime, you play the role of iconic musician Vicente Fernández. Bring us back to the moment that you found out that you were going to portray this iconic singer. Oh, my God, I, I almost fainted. Can you imagine the responsibility and the weight on my shoulders? But, uh, but you know, I approached it like any other acting gig, because if you let fear or hesitation get programmed in, in your performance, then you set up yourself for, for failure, right? But it was, it was a, a beautiful project, blessed by Vicente himself and his family. It is the authorized biopic. And, uh, you know, we wanted to be, we wanted to be as far away from a, a parody or imitation or caricature as possible. And while you were in production, did you have any flashbacks to your childhood of growing up in Mexico? A hundred percent. I mean, of course, I, I'm from Mexico and I love my country, obviously. And, 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 even, and even though Vicente was more an, an artist for my parents, not so much for my uh, generation, everybody knows who Vicente Fernandez is and everybody sings his songs, at, like you very well said, in parties, quinceañeras, even at funerals. So, yes, can you imagine, I mean, just playing... Vicente Fernandez is for, for mariachi music what Elvis Presley was mm. for rock and roll, basically. And how does one become and, and prepare for this role, becoming the king of rancheras? Well, you know, we had great acting coaches, and, and I, I researched uh, an unlimited amount of material of Vicente in intimate scenarios. Not so much the Vicente singing or Vicente in his films, because Vicente in films is like, is like an exaggerated, ver, exaggerated version of Vicente. So I really wanted to, to get the, the essence and the vibe of him in, in intimate scenarios. We really wanted the character to have a lot of gravitas and, and, and to really connect emotionally with the audience. And of course, his voice just, you know, belted uh, across and resonated across any room. We see moments in the series where people would actually stop at the sound of his voice. You actually sing in the series yourself. How long did it take you to master his cadence, and what was that process like? Oh, my dear God, it, it was a process. It was very difficult, very challenging, but very, very artistically rewarding because I, uh, I, I recorded every single song in his original key, in his original tone of the, of the song. And uh, so in the studios, I had the, the, the music, I had my voice, of course, and I had a knob with Vicente's voice. So what was important to me was to paraphrase uh, or, you know, in this artistic interpretation of what we were doing uh, with our Vicente, in a way, was to really mimic his phrasing and how, you know, the, the, the classic he caress songs, like, in, in a very, like, este amor apasiona. You know, the cadence of, of how he sang, that was very important for me to, to imprint in the recording. Perfect, because I was just going to ask, can I put you on the spot and just get you to give us a taste? And you did that. <laughs> it's it's difficult. It's, <laughs> listen, a voice is like a fingerprint. And no one ever is going to sound like Vicente. No one, no one ever is going to have that, 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 that power, that vocal power. But, you know, it was just like, um, he did like things like this. Um, 
este amor apasionado anda todo alborotado. You know, it's... You got <laughs> it. You nailed it, it's... my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, in, in the series, there's a famous line that Vicente recites, you never die if people don't forget you. A, a true testament to his legacy, for sure. What do you hope the audience takes away from, from watching his story? You know, we are playing an homage of uh, the, the great Vicente Fernandez. So, so we really want uh, people to connect uh, with him and to see him as a human being that 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 had to overcome so many obstacles and struggles in life to become what what he became and what he still is. He single-handedly put mariachi music in the worldwide map. So that's uh, an, an impressive achievement. Hi, mate. We thank you so much for, for gracing us with that voice of yours as well. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Sharing a piece of your Mexican culture, El Rey Vicente Fernandez is now streaming on Netflix. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.